Hi CP fam, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we are featuring the unique and versatile Cornell Notes inserts. We'll be showing you three different ways how to use them, academically, professionally, and creatively. So whether you're preparing for coursework or meetings, our Cornell Notes inserts will add endless functionality, organization, and productivity to your planning. Excel in your academics by implementing the Cornell note-taking method. Start by taking generalized notes in the notes column during lectures, reading, and studying. Then, in the left-hand subject section, write down potential questions and keywords that relate to the subject. And then the key to the summary area at the bottom of the page is to summarize your notes in your own words. This method is great for memory recall and helps you observe the information you've learned. The subject section is ideal for listing topics, ideas, and key points during meetings or project planning. For each subject, list them with a transparent shape sticker. Not only does this add ease of visibility, but you may also use a symbol system to organize your notes. Expand on each discussion point with details in a notes column. Use a summary area for any additional notes or points that could be covered next time. Going back about using symbol systems, using a pen such as the Pentel Energel Gold Standard in blue, a check mark may indicate a task is complete, or a symbol like a circle means that a point needs to be followed up on. Last but not least, if you love to plan and organize projects for creative writing or art, the Cornell Notes Inserts Design is a great creative planning tool for all creators. For writers, list items like content ideas, like character banks, key plot points, and world building details in the subject box. Details can be expanded on in the notes section, and the summary area then hosts visual details like color schemes or mood boards. We hope that these tips will inspire you to get the most out of your Cornell Notes inserts. What would you use your inserts for? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.